the prepping begin. We're counting down to the big Thanksgiving Day feast, and today we've got five ways to make your Thanksgiving more Southern. Chief Haim Asher from Lucille's Barbecue is here, and I have to tell you, Haim, I don't often think about turkeys and Thanksgiving when I think about Lucille's. I'm thinking about ribs and, you know, all that and other good stuff, but of course. this looks and smells amazing. Well, thank you. I mean, you know, we, we take a lot of pride in the things that yeah. we do. You know, we start off by uh, smoking everything in-house every single day. Mm -hmm. um, this beautiful turkey, for example, has been on the yes. smoker for at least four hours. Mm. Um, it so. looks beautiful and smells really good, too. Oh, I hope everybody you. can see how nice that looks. I don't want to tip it over, but hopefully they can see it. It is really a beautiful bird. Yeah. And so you you all do all the sides there too. We do, yeah. And you know, as an example here, just some sides that if you were to come in for Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. uh, you would get these options right here as your side. We have, you know, this uh, beautiful classic stuffing. We have a nice creamy style mac and cheese. Everybody's favorite roasted garlic mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. And if you were to come into the restaurant mm -hmm. on Thanksgiving Day and dine with us, you'd probably be getting a Ooh. meal similar to this, which as you can tell is pretty bountiful. Yeah, and and you were saying that you all kind of thing, take things and make them a little more soulful by yeah. changing up your recipes. So you add what to your stuffing? Well, at the restaurant, we go very straightforward and mm -hmm. classic. But if you were at home, for example, and mm -hmm. you wanted to sort of plus it up a little yeah. bit, I think dropping a few freshly shucked oysters in there right mm -hmm. before it goes in the oven okay. makes a super, super great stuffing. And it's very traditional. The first, first Thanksgiving was mostly seafood anyway. Yes, yeah. yes. And you also talk about um, something that my family's done. I have parents that are from the South where you use like either bacon or, or pork fat, I hate to say, to, to make some different items. It's not a bad word. So you okay. can just I say it out loud. Just it, say it. Pork fat. <laughs> it's a natural fat. It's incredibly uh, flavorful. It's got a high smoke point. It's so versatile. You can do so many things. So if you're using butter or olive oil, feel free to just sub that out with some pork fat. You'll thank me later. <laughs> <laughs> it is good, I know. And if you're gonna enjoy all the calories, you might as well make it taste as good as it can taste. Absolutely. Now you, you know. have a special um, little side dish over That's there right. that yes. I know is very popular in the South. Uh, we call that cornbread pudding. What do mm -hmm. you call it? I just call it corn pudding okay. with the apostrophe over yeah, the end, yeah, right? Yeah, with that in, yes. Yeah, so we're going to make a little bit? Yeah, that's right. So uh, it's a super simple recipe. Everybody can make this at home. Okay. We start off with, uh, you know, just to put it in terms everybody knows, a, a can of cream corn. That's easy. So we're just going to put in a can of cream corn. Okay. Then we're going to put in a can of regular corn. Okay. Obviously, corn not being in season right now. Uh, the cans are beautifully sweet and really good. So mm -hmm. we're just going to drop that in there. Okay. Then we're going to add... Um, a very generous amount, one eight ounce container of sour cream. Yes, Gotta have it, yes. right? And then this is kind of like the first step. I would I would start off by mixing this right here until okay. it gets Can nice and you? even. Yeah, please. Okay, okay. Hop you... on in there. Okay. Um, and then you're doing great, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, then this is this is uh, oh, actually right. Jiffy corn I knew corn you were muffin say mix. That. Yeah. It doesn't seem like you can do it with anything but Jiffy. <laughs> yeah, it would actually it's an arrestable offense to do it without without that. So okay. when you get it right about here, you're just mm -hmm. going to dump that in. Okay. And then you're going to add in your butter. Okay. So this is a stick of butter. A stick of butter. Ooh. Very healthy. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is the part where I just like to mix it just until it starts to come together. Okay. I like to leave it a little bit lumpy because uh, then it's it's nice and tender. It's got some okay. great structure to okay. it. Okay, how's this looking? Is uh, that looking? I, think, I think you're hired. I mean, okay. we need hey. about 600 more of these. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but I'm, I'm happy to help with one or two. Perfect. And let's look at, can we show people? Yes, so you please. bake this in the oven for how long? Uh, that takes about uh, 35 to 45 minutes, depending okay. at about 350 degrees. Okay. Yep. And this is the finished product. That's I want what it people looks to be like. able to see that because it looks amazing. What are these little dollops there? So uh, at the restaurant, what we do is we finish it with a little bit of our signature apple butter and oh. some sliced scallions. Oh. So the scallions kind of bring it back to like savory. Okay. So it's a, it, I mean, without that stuff, you might even be able to eat it as a dessert. It's that good. It is that good. It's super good. All right. We got to do a quick, quick, quick taste test. Oh, yeah. And um, let you know that uh, you can find much more information about Lucille's by just going to our website, kcal9.com. And uh, 
uh, we've got more information. And then also people who are afraid to do this at home, well, they can still order. There's still time to order. There, there right? is still time. We have until November 22nd, which is a Tuesday. Um, okay. A lot of the restaurants may be sold out, but okay. we do have reservations available, oh. dine-in, walk-in available. Ooh. So let us do the dishes. Come eat at I, our place. I was going to say that sounds good. Let somebody else do the kitchen. Totally. All that work. Yes. Perfect. Thank yeah. you so much, Tom. Thank we you. certainly appreciate it.